Well, I just need time to pack. You're gonna like Springfield. Huh? It's been 15 minutes since the last injection. You did it. You've arrested Justin's symptoms. Cedars isn't paying for it. I am. in here, please. Yes, doctor. I, 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 I thought I said two steps. I felt like going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see the way you look at him, and then how you catch my eye. You're a hallucinant. You did it just now, just when he was leaving. on unsolved police cases or even personal mysteries suggested by the viewer. Trying to move the ratings. We've got a very big Springfield audience. They want to see local shows. We're offering you the opportunity to have your name connected with crime. You can't do this to me! Mom! Mother, he's dangerous. I walked in on him. He thought he was alone and he was screaming into the phone. was set off. Now, Miss Lindsay's clearing the studio with Mr. Thorpe. This is on the air. What? That's impossible. Don't just stand there. Get, get us off the air. And you're looking at the next chief in the Rollins. <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah, it's oh. official. Oh. You know, I was voting for you the whole time, rooting for you, but I think he was right to say it. I'm going to reveal the truth about Daniel St. John at his little country club dinner. And then I'm finally going to have my revenge. If you ever tell anybody that I was responsible for bringing you to Springfield, you're gonna regret it. Dr. Daniel St. John. Looking very much forward to the challenge. Leave me alone! Leave me. No! If you don't leave me alone, I am gonna make a scene and I'm not kidding! will pay, but the best way to make him pay is to hold off. Is to take away somebody that he loves. What? Holly Lindsay. is to pack up and get out of town. Will you marry me? What's happening on the 14th? Not winning. I'm asking you a few questions about what? About the death of Gene Weatherill. I'll keep you waiting. Okay, Dr. 
Doctor, thank you. That's all my questions. You had an affair with Dr. Donaldson's wife. She shows up dead. What do you want from a problem? There was no medical problem. Miss Holly Lindsay? Yes. Do you? Dr. Donaldson? All right, there's a gap in his resume during that period. That's why I contacted you, aside from just wanting a general reference. It all started when I realized that Dr. St. John was having an affair with my wife. My wife committed suicide, doctor. That's not the official version, but I'm convinced of it. What about the, the accident? There was a car accident? Carol took an overdose of pills before she got behind the wheel that night. From what they found in her blood, it's amazing she got as far as she did. He was in no way responsible for her death. She came unhinged after Carol's death. She wanted someone to pay. Even though it had been ruled an accident, even though she knew the truth. Hey, this Donaldson must be quite a guy. Oh, yeah, and you nailed it.
no idea what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I have. See, I know Holly probably better than I know myself. Gonna dump you, Danny boy. That's not happening. <laughs> you don't take kindly to rejection, do you? I'm not listening to you anymore. But when she does leave you, and she will, don't even think about trying to stop her, because if you hurt her, I'll kill you. Every time that your mother and I try to talk to you, honey, you just run off to the room and bolt the door. Not this time. Let me go. No, not just yet. Your mother and I have been very disappointed in your behavior lately. Daniel, stop. Just let me go. I swear to you, you'll regret this. Oh, I don't think you're in much of a condition to be making threats now, are you? I just had a long talk with Holly Lindsay. You're not going to believe what she told me about Roger Thorpe. She told you about being raped? It's interesting. In fact, it's perfect. Oh, I doubt she thinks so. It's just that I think there's a strong chance that this could be psychosomatic and not simply physical. You know... It is interesting that she didn't tell me about the rape. Must have been very traumatic for her, given what she did tell me. Which was? Apparently, she was married to some other guy when she had Roger's kid. She was. You know him? Sure, it was me. 